Uh, I'm curious, Maud, for you, I mean, your character has been so interesting over these seasons because she is really sort of the observer. What is it like to have this play become her focus this season and to really like put on a full production? What was it like to do that and, and to read the script for that? Yeah, I mean, Sam and I sort of talked about it. Um, it's loosely inspired by me in high school being like a theater tyrant. So <laughs> I, I understood <laughs> that aspect of it, but it was so crazy. We were doing like a full play in front of a full real audience. So it was, it was scary. Yeah. We were all like Austin and the other cast members. I don't know. I don't know how to not give it away, but we, yeah, we, we got the, the jitters. We all had stage friends, <laughs> but it was so fun. It was so, so fun. What do you think it says about her as a character? I mean, I think she bottles so much up. So when she gets angry and frustrated, she doesn't really know how to deal with it. And so she sort of lashes out in like sort of ridiculous ways. And yeah, I think, I mean, Lexi's really smart and hardworking. And I think she's sort of also very controlling. Like when she, I think so much in her life is crazy and falling apart and Rue's losing it and Cassie's losing it. And she's like, okay, this is my one thing. And like, I have control over it and I'm going to get it right if it's the last thing I do. So yeah, that's. <laughs> Sydney and, and Alexa, how was it to shoot the scene in the hot tub? I mean, Sydney, what was it like to be the one having to do the vomiting and, and Alexa, I mean, even though it's fake, is it still gross to be on the receiving end of that? That wasn't fake. It came out of my mouth. It came yeah. out of her mouth. She vomited. <laughs> um, it was very disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> it was really gross. It was like, so it was this clear pipe that was like a little tube that they like weaved behind my back and then into my mouth with like a horse bit. And so during the scene, they would fill my mouth with the throw up. And I had to sit there as if nothing was going into my mouth and let it fill and fill and fill and fill and, fill and then throw up. I was really worried I was actually going to throw up. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I mean, is it ever fun to do something like that or is it just gross all around? That one was just gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm curious too. I mean, Sydney, you, you were so great on The White Lotus. So what do you think your character on The White Lotus would think of Cassie and vice versa? I mean, do you think <laughs> they would hate each other? Would they be friends? Would they even register on each other's radar in any way? <laughs> I think Olivia would walk by and just roll her eyes at Cassie and be like, girl, you do not have your shit together. <laughs> How do you think Cassie would feel about her? I think Cassie would be very intimidated by Olivia because Olivia portrays such a put together, sophisticated uh, character. And I think Cassie would be just not on the same playing level field. Alexa, this season we see Maddie bond with Minka Kelly's character and, and she seems to sort of put some things in perspective for Maddie. Yeah. What do you, what do you think Maddie learns from her? Um, I think Maddie just finally feels like she has a, a female mentor, someone who's older than her. I, I don't think, I think we see in season one that she doesn't really uh, respect the decisions that her parents have made. So she sees this woman in this gorgeous house with these gorgeous clothes and, you know, she seems so put together. So she's, I think she's just, she really takes in what she says. And I think it helps her feel like Minka Kelly's character helps her feel like the decision she's made with the relationship is nor it's normal. Like it's there, it's normal to have these like toxic relationships when you're younger because you're learning. And so I think she helps her, realize like, I, I did this too. This is not what you have to stay with. You know, um, you can move on. It's just a phase or whatever. And so I think she just helps her realize what isn't true love and what could be. Maude, I also really thought the relationship between Lexi and, and Fezco is so interesting. 
of all the people, what do you think it is about him that she finds herself drawn to? Um, I think, I mean, the thing that's so interesting about Angus's character is like, he's so sweet and he has got like such a, he's got like such sweet eyes, but he also is sort of like forced to be in this position. And I, I think he doesn't really want that for himself. He has so many other like dreams and goals. And we see that through the season in their conversations, but I think she just finds him fascinating and she's never met anyone like him. And I think vice versa. And so, but deep down, they sort of like have really similar interests and like make each other laugh. And like, they're just buddies, even though it's pretty, (laughs) no one would see it coming, but I think they just get along really well. Yeah. It's funny how jarring it is in the middle of everything else going on, that there's this like sweet, pure relationship with all of this other, like total insanity happening. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sydney, how, how do you feel about Cassie and Nate? Can you see Maddie's point uh, about, you know, not hooking up with your friend's boyfriend, even if he is an ex? I mean, how, how do you feel about that whole dynamic? I think there's valid points on both sides, but of course I play Cassie, so I can't judge <laughs> too, too harshly, but she acts out of love, just like pure, utter, anxious, crazy love well I appreciate you guys talking to me about the show you all just broke my heart this season so much insanity happened so thank you for talking to me about it (laughs) 